Welcome back my YouTubers. Today is quite an important day. We're going to be laying the wires in the van ready for the insulation. Um, there's a lot to be done. If I can quickly run through, there's quite a lot of wiring going on on this job. So, and I'm not an electrician or an auto electrician. It's just my own knowledge. It's stuff I picked up on other channels like YouTube and the Greg Vago, as I always keep mentioning. Um, and stuff I know myself as well, bits and bobs. But basically, there's going to be a lot of wiring systems going into this van. We're going to have, um, I'm going to be putting trunking on the floors and I'm going to be feeding wires underneath the raised floor. I'm also going to be putting one along this deep channel. There's quite a few deep channels in here which can come in handy, it can serve the purpose quite well. I need to put some conduit along the floor with no wires in, potentially, because I've got wires going in later on, um, maybe in six months time or even a year's time. So I'm just gonna feed a, a, a string through and then when I'm ready to pull those wires through, I can attach it to the string and pull it through. I, I don't have to lift the floor up, I don't have to try and get behind the boards. It's all gonna be ready for me to pull wires through at a later stage because I've got things like CCTV cameras that I want putting all around the van so I can see what's going on outside on the night time. I'm not, these are the sort of things I don't need to be buying right now. I need to be putting my money into stuff that's more important to get the van actually built and, and on the road and, and you know working. So basically what we're going to be doing is there's going to be a kitchen area here and we're going to have some 240 sockets and we're going to have an inverter socket down there, permanent dedicated inverter socket, 240 sockets for hookup. We're going to have a 240 socket up here for a microwave oven on hookup but also next to it I'm going to have an inverter socket as well. So at a pinch I can use, swap the plugs and I can use the microwave at a pinch um, off the battery if I'm off grid. But the kind of the times when I can kind of like only use that will be when say it's the end of the camping trip and it's the last day and I don't it doesn't matter if I use my my battery up because the battery that I'm going to be using is a 220 amp hour battery. It's not going to be the most powerful setup, but the setup I'm having, which I'll talk about in another video, but the setup I'm having is is supposed to be supply me. It's supposed to going to supply me with power off grid for three days before I need to plug into mains and top up. So I've worked out roughly what I'm going to be using in the van and how much power consumption I'll have and that is um, basically going to be how I've built my system, well that's how I've built my system around it, um, trying to keep the cost down because I could build a great system but that means double the money and I'm trying to keep the cost down. I'm trying to do everything including the van purchase within six to seven thousand pounds no more so there are things corners that I've got to cut basically and things I've got to avoid buying right anyway so I put this flexi trunking down down this channel here because I'm gonna try and have the wires behind the wall um, but the problem with doing that is you've got some sharp edges and with the vibration of the van it could rub through the sheath of the wires so you have to put this trunk in in to keep that safe from that happening basically and I'll be putting it all around all over the place I'll be putting channels like I said down there running wires through running wires through there and um, I'll explain everything in another in another video but for now I'm going to just put the first fixed wiring in around the van Put a bit of primer on. 
it's going to be a dry area anyway, a, a water vapour free area, so I shouldn't really need primer but I'll do it anyway. I'm going to explain um, what that nugget is doing over there and um, basically I'm laying down a 2.5 cable single core twin and earth but I have discovered that in a camper van if you want to do everything to regulations which I want to do because I will eventually want to turn it or register it into an actual legal camper van um, you need to use multi-core and the other thing is you don't actually need to use 2.5 um, twin, twin and earth because um, the hookup is basically just an extension and so therefore you only need 1.5 the same as the extension cord um, ultimately everything runs from the consumer unit but having said that the extension will plug into something that runs to another consumer unit so really it's all a bit overkill but it, it's all built to regulations anyway so what I've had to do is rip everything out and rewire it in the correct wire which you will see um, in, in a bit later on Right, I've had to take the conduit out because it can't get three uh, 2.5 wires in. So basically, I'm putting a different conduit in, in the areas where the chafing will happen only. The rest, where it's safe, will just dangle. So anyway, <clears throat> I've got a 240 up there. I'm bringing it round to a 240 here. A 240 inside the cupboard for a PlayStation, potentially. It's going to follow around for a double 240 in the garage, go across another double 240 in the garage because that's going to power anything I want to power when I'm in a campsite and also it will power the, um, the battery charger because that's going to be plugged in permanently to the 240 system which will then feed the 12 volt system so I can have a permanent ongoing 12 volt system all the time. So <clears throat> I'll get this wired up. Take a bit of doing and I'll get back to you. Actually, I want a two volt plug inside the cupboard and I want one at the back of the cupboard which is gonna feed the control panel next to the TV. So the TV will be plugged into a 12 volt socket. It'll be a 12 volt TV, but it'll also switch to 240 TV. So there's a plug next to it on 240 as well on the double on the double socket itself. So I've got a feed up to there as well. Kitchen TV. Just set these buttons out so I know roughly where they're going to be because I'm going to bring the wire across this is where the battery is going to be the fuse box and everything at this side so all these wires have to eventually end up at this side so they can be pinned against that some will be just laid on the floor conduits etc
a two footy system laid out. I can't pin it down to the floor properly until I put the battens down on the floor battens and get all that organised. But once I do, everything will be pinned in place, good and proper. I'll be putting the conduits in on the chafing areas tomorrow. I need to get that flexi stuff that's um, split in the middle so I can apply it. Now the wires are already fitted basically around it. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get on with the 12 volt system, which is gonna be a lot more wiring tomorrow. See you then.